Ever wondered how flying cars are being made? Check this out. So we're in front of the test fixture uh, that I've been working on for quite a while now. This one is designed to test the motors, the ESCs, uh, and the props here. Uh, we're using different props, different motors, different designs. Nice CNC uh, type control system, which allows me to go up and down on the motor test rig. So we can test ground effect, or we can test uh, prop distance interference between props. Motors are controlled via the computer system, the software. It's all driven by a throttle control system. We have laser RPM sensors. We have laser temperature sensors. These are measuring motor temp, motor windings, seeing if they're getting too hot. We're also measuring the RPM with the laser. So we're measuring the motor speed directly. The up and down mechanism is controlled via stepper motors system. Um, this is also, we have a braking system that I designed for this that engages, that allows you to lock it in place while you're doing your test so you don't have any movement. We have a load cell system that's measuring the uh, amount of thrust that's being created by the props here as they're rotating. Okay, so we have uh, the live information. This is how uh, we're getting all the data and while we're running a test, we can see the exact RPM measured by a laser. We, got the, we can get the exact lift both for the top one and the bottom one and combine both of them to see what is the thrust and the total thrust for all the machine that we have. We can see a different type of temperature. We can measure the sound to see how much actually is going on uh, with the motors and how much, much noise they're making. Also the harmonics, so the IMU. Uh, we can measure the climate inside the lab here in the warehouse that we have and also the humidity. And while we're actually uh, finishing the test, we can go and overview the post analysis uh, data so we can actually see exactly uh, what is the information that I got from the lift. Uh, I have like a live measurement just running that backwards to see if anything uh, changed from the last test. So, so basically the screens that you see here is giving me from one side the live measurement of everything that's running on with all the sensor of the running test fixture and this screen is actually giving me the post analysis data that I can actually go and see and measure how much was each test, compare test to each other to, to get the best profile and the aerodynamics profile for the Dorani H1X. So this is the older props that we've been using on our vehicle that we've been flying with. These are open blade props. Um, they're not designed to go inside of a duct. Um, these we're, we're utilizing to test duct theory. Um, these will go inside of a duct. These are not optimized for the duct yet. We will be optimizing that later. We will be optimizing the motor later. Everything will get optimized eventually to its final production model. But for now, this is just to, to get the uh, numbers that we need um, to understand the physics behind uh, the thrust that we're generating for the duct that we're gonna be using.